Welcome back to the show. And this is the segment that I'm really interested in because I get to know more, a lot of more young, talented people out there. And one of the contestants of Voice of the Week um, is going to be a really interesting person and talented kid. Please take a look at the screen right away. Hello. Can you guess why I'm doing this uniform, this and that? I am going to fight. This is my favorite sport besides soccer and swimming. I think I forgot to do something. Oh yeah, I just forgot to introduce myself. My name is Bun Kang. I was born in the year of the dragon and now I am 8 years old. You know, I love it so much my parents told me that I could speak and learn English by just 3 years old. And now English helps me a lot, especially in reading and studying at school. Thanks for watching and see you in the IFO show. Please welcome to the stage, Ming Kang. A bit. Um, this is not your first time being on TV, right? Yes. Can you tell me about other times that you were on TV shows? Yes, I did join a few game shows and all the, you know, I did film some videos on my YouTube and, you know, I did other stuff. Mm, do you like that? Mm, uh, I like it a lot, but sometimes I would not like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you like, um, you know, making a presentation in front of a lot of people? Yes, and I have it one already. Oh, really? Just but it's, it's in my class. Mm -hmm. So just like twenty people. Or something like twenty that. people, but right now millions of Vietnamese people are watching you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Doing presentation. So oh, no. have you prepared well? Yes. Cool. Are you ready? I think so. Off you go to the stage. Good luck. The prompt for a song is children should not watch television. Hello everyone, today we have a very interesting topic as children should not watch TV and I am so eager to share my idea about this. I think children should not watch TV is a good recommendation but not a perfect decision because watching TV has both advantages and disadvantages and you have the right practice in the right time. So now to the bad of watching TV. If once on a blue moon, you may meet violent pop-up contents and kids can copy the action which can lead to murder actually and it can cost time and you can easily get addicted to your favorite TV show or program and it may cause eye problems and wrong setting position and radiation okay and now you're a bit scared but also TV has some benefits like why I on now VTV7 and that is educational TV channels like similar to National Geographic, Travel and Discovery and what's life without entertainment? It's going to be a boring, boring life. So keep your life balanced with cartoons, news, videos, sports and travel. And you need to keep up with the world, especially this time, the corona pandemic, with the local news or international news and when you go out, you need the better forecast and traffic information. And now to a few tips for you to keep the good but go away bad. So you may only just watch in free time, like after complete your homework, assignment or meal. And you may set a limitation like one hour per day or 30 minutes per time. And you can control time by a clock, alarm clock or in the glass. And you can get permission from parents to watch TV and kids and, and help them and you can ask them to select the like channel. They will not mind at all. Each age need different contents and kids under two should not watch TV. And after you watch TV, you can have an iris and watch your face to wash away all the radiation and mention in the should not. In conclusion, any kind of activities when we do too much is not good. Same for watching TV. Be safe and healthy all the time. That's all my sharing for this topic. Thanks for watching and goodbye! Okay, so um, Mr. Danny, do you have any follow-up questions? 
First off, fantastic job, young man. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. So you did a great job. Uh, I want to give you some uh, sustains, things that, that you did well, and then give you some comments about improves. Uh, my first question is, is, do you actually watch TV? Yes. Okay, how much TV do you watch in a week? Um, I watch mostly in free time. If that week I have a lot of free time, I watch a lot. And if I, ha I had any time, like this week, because I need to prepare for IELTS face out, I did not watch, I did not watch much. Sure. On average, how much TV do you watch per week? I can answer for per day, but okay. per week, like seven hours or things like that. Seven one hours hour per day. week? One hour per day, seven hours per week. Okay. That one hour of time where you watch TV, what do you watch? What kind of show do you watch? Um, an occasional videos, like Frank Sci, Five Minutes, Hacks, things like that. Okay. After you watch TV, do you do any follow-up? After I watch TV, I mostly like play or I like, have an eye rest or close my eye because, you know, sometimes watching TV makes me very sleepy. Okay, so I think it's important when you consume new knowledge. You say you watch a lot of educational content. You want to, just as I am, take down notes and you want to then be able to regurgitate the information, repeat the information maybe to your parents, to your friends about what you're learning. And in this way, you can apply the new knowledge directly. So I, I think things that you did particularly well you have very good posture, right? You stood very still. I think for an eight-year-old to stand still for that long period of time, that's fantastic. It takes discipline to be able to do that, and we talked about that. Yeah, uh, did, you, did you rehearse for this? Um, I did rehearse a few times at home, but not much. Like, when I come to Hanoi, I, I rehearse like four times, but at home I rehearse twice, so six times six rehearsals of things like that. Okay, so you rehearsed this about 10 times. And I'm sure every single time when you rehearsed, you improved. And it's just the idea of practice. Makes practice perfect. makes perfect. Exactly, right? So I think something else you did well is you used hand gestures. You, you held the iPad in one hand, and then in the other hand, you were using your hand to make gestures. I thought that was fantastic. And then also, your eye contact was very good. Right? You're looking right into the camera, looking into the audience as you're communicating your message. Uh, something I would encourage you to work on is your enunciation. Do you know what that means? Yes, and I think that's the thing that I'm worst. Okay, so I wouldn't say worst. It's something you just need to work on. First off, to be able to come on this show on national television to share your perspective, your opinion, I thought you did a fantastic job. But I think one thing is, is you want to slow down. In order to work on your enunciation, you can actually record yourself. You can record yourself on your phone, you can record yourself on your laptop, and then you can listen to what you're saying. Uh, if you slow down and you enunciate, you ac accent certain parts of the word, and you slow down your speech, I think it can be much more comprehensible for other people. Yeah. Okay, so great job today. Very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. You did a really great, great job. I love listening to your presentation. It gives me a lot of more energy and also excitement. And in your home, do you have a TV? Yes. You Sorry. can watch it back when it goes on TV, right? Oh, that's right. So whenever I'm sad, I would turn on the TV and, and we'll watch again your performance. And we'll be on the IFA YouTube. Sure, for sure, for sure. Thank you for your recommendations. Thank you, Kang, for your presentation. You are the most, one of the most adorable kids I've ever met. And thank you. You are also the most... Good girl rapper that I have, I have ever met too. And thank you, Kang. I hope you're the best. And um, Mr. Danny, our expert today, would you like to summarize a little bit about what we had talked in the show? Absolutely. So, so when I see students like Min Kang here, I'm truly inspired because it takes a lot of courage. Yes. It takes a lot of effort and also discipline to be able to prepare for something like this on national television. So give me a high five. Two weeks ago. Yep. Okay. So and before that, today. I did watch it without my own. Okay. Good job today. But you did a really great job, and we are so honored because you are a fan of Avaya's face off, and we are also a fan of you, a really big fan of you. Do you like to say goodbye to the audience? Goodbye. And see you.